Okay, everyone, I'm back again because I totally screwed up the last time I did this by having the phone uh, tilted the wrong way. So I think you're getting the full, the full right, proper view this time. Um, Sal Mayorana from the Democrat and Chronicle and my thoughts on the Marcel Darius trade. For those of you who already saw this, um, ignore me. But for those of you who didn't see the original broadcast, these are my thoughts. Look, I think the Bills uh, were thinking about moving Darius right along um, he's a player that really has not been very productive. He's not their guy, Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean. They inherited him. And look, they gave him a chance um, after the incident in Baltimore in the preseason when he showed up late to the, to the game and Sean McDermott sent him home. You could almost tell that there was going to be problems moving forward. Uh, the contract is completely ridiculous that Doug Whaley had given Darius, and he just wasn't earning that money in the eyes of Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott. So what I think happened is um, they had thought about moving. I'm pretty sure they would have moved on from him at the end of the season, prior to 2018, whether it was going to be a pre- or post-June 1 decision. Um, Darius, I don't think, was going to be on this team next year. Jacksonville called. Brandon Bean said they called him. Um, they worked out an agreement, and the trade was made, and the Bills get a six-round draft pick um, in return for Darius. And people will think, well, my God, he's only... They only got a six-round pick for a starting defensive tackle who's a two-time Pro Bowler, a former number over, number three overall draft pick. Look, the Bills were not going to get much more from anybody else, and they're very fortunate that they were able to trade Darius. Had they just released him, the cap hits would have been worse. They would have had to take the 2019 through 2021 portion of the contract, and that, that would have rolled into the dead cap hits um, in 2018. So I think the Bills did a good job. They take a cap hit this year. I think it's about $10.6 million, and then it's $14.2 million uh, next season. But also factor in, they're saving five point. I think it's $5.7 million this year, the remainder of his salary off the salary cap, which Jacksonville now has to pay. And they're also getting rid of, I think, $2.4 million next year. So you add those two things up. There are um, It is a big cap hit, but you subtract... Uh, whatever that is, almost eight, about $8 million. Um, so the number comes down a little bit for what the Bills are responsible for. The key thing is they got rid of those last three years of the contract, 2019 through 21. He was going to be owed somewhere in the neighborhood of $45 million had he played the entire time on that deal with the Bills. They're no longer responsible for that. And there's no dead cap hit for that money, that part of the contract. Um, like I said, which would have been part of it had they just released him next year. So, again, the Bills have moved on from Marcel Darius. Um, this is a guy that has given them a lot of problems, not so much this regime, but certainly past regimes. He was suspended twice, uh, once for a game in 2015, the first four last year. One more strike, I think he's eligible for that that one-year suspension. So, He's kind of a malcontent. He's a, he's a fun, love, and happy-go-lucky guy, but very immature. I don't think he could be trusted, um, you know, off the field. We've seen that in Buffalo. He had several issues uh, with the Bills. You know, I, I'm not I'm not in I'm not opposed to this trade. This as just as I wasn't opposed to the Sammy Watkins trade, a player that wasn't going to be here in 2018 anyways. They got a second-round pick for Sammy Watkins. So Darius is gone. Um, there is a hole to fill in that Buffalo defense. And, you know, guys like Jarrell Worthy and DeAndre Coleman and Adolphus Washington have to step up now and, and fill that void. And it's going to be tough. But you look at Darius's production this season and even going back to last season, a lot of bang, or a lot of buck, I should say, for not a lot of bang. Um, I think the Bills can replace him. I don't think he'll be all that missed. And again, I think it's a good move down the future. The Bills are stockpiling draft picks. That 2018 sixth round pick could become a fifth rounder if the Jaguars make the playoffs, so you never know. But the Bills have tons of draft picks next year. Great currency uh, to do a lot of different things. They'll have options, whether it's they'll have more money now in free agency. They've got more draft picks to play with. Um, and if they want to go up and get one of these quarterbacks, um, again, they can do that, I think, next year. So... Finally, like I said, it's a good move for the Bills. Darius, um, I think, underwhelmed the entire six and a half years he was here. He had a couple good years. But as a number three overall draft pick in 2011, this was a guy who should have been a future Wall of Fame candidate in Buffalo. 
and that will never be the case with Marcel Darius. All right, thanks for being here again. I think I got this right with the camera uh, on, this, on this angle vertical, so I'm going to post this to my new website, salespeak.com. Um, I'm asking everybody on Facebook to please give that a look. Um, I've put a couple links on my Facebook page. Um, that's where I'm going to be posting all my bill stories with a link directly to the Democrat and Chronicle. So I get a hit and they get a hit, obviously. Um, but I'm also posting many other things on SalSpeak.com. I'm writing history pieces. Um, I'm republishing my book, Thank You Sabres, um, segment by segment. So I hope people are going to enjoy that. It's a great look back at the 72-73 Sabres team. So uh, lots of good stuff there. I really want to make this go, uh, but I've got to get the likes, the, fair, the, fair, the Facebook likes, the Twitter shares, all that stuff, and I need clicks. So I'm so I sound like I'm begging. I sort of am, um, but I really want to make the website go. I've put a ton of work into it. Uh, my son Holden designed that really cool logo and banner. I think it looks great. The site's pretty functional from what I've been told. So I hope you all enjoy that, and I hope you do support uh, the idea of the website. So have a great Saturday and uh, make sure to pay attention to my Twitter feed and my stories tomorrow in the Democrat and Chronicle as I cover the Bills Raiders game. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you on Sunday at the Bills game.